Matt Damon. This is a quick tutorial on how I record guitars at home. First and probably the most important detail of all. Put new strings on your guitar. Old strings sound dull and will make any gear sound like shit, so do yourself a favor and change the strings. Also if you're using active pickups be sure to put in a new fresh battery in the guitar. On your amplifier start of by setting the equalizer knobs to noon. Set gain to your liking. If you're using a tube amplifier it will probably sound at its best if you crank the master volume to let those tubes color the sound. Not an easy task when you're living in an apartment with cranky neighbors. Set the master to a reasonable level. Moving over to the most crucial part, microphone placement. I'm using a single Shure SM57 to mic my speaker. The trick is to find the sweet spot for your particular speaker. This part is a lot easier if you have a guitar playing friend with you that plays while you move around the microphone. Move the microphone around the cap to find the spot. As close to the cloth of the cab as possible. When you find a tone that you like, back the microphone a couple of inches back. The sound will get bigger and fatter. Be careful though so you don't move it back too much cause you'll lose attack. Another way of placing the microphone is to put on your favorite earplugs and put your head against the speaker and move it around to find the spot. Now back to the amplifier. Now you can start to tweak the amplifier for real until you find the perfect sound. Start recording. Often recording one left and one right guitar track for rhythm but a lot of bands record a total of four guitars and pan them differently. When I have my guitars recorded I usually put a compressor and a low pass filter in Logic 9. I put the compressor to around 4 to 1 with a fast attack and a medium response time. Just to bring an even level between palm mutes and chords. Sometimes I add a equalizer as well but it's always better to get the perfect tone recorded rather than trying to equalize it to death later. On the filter I usually put it to around 7000 Hz to remove some of the hiss from the recorded guitars. Now add a bass guitar to get things going. Fucking brutal. That's what I call metal. <laughs> 